Good afternoon, everybody from the town of Delphi. I'm going to try to summarize what happened in the last few days, because as I mentioned in my brief video last night, we've been on a cruise ship since Friday morning. And so that kept us away from the internet for um, that entire period, because Wi-Fi is very expensive on the ship, and cell phone service, of course, is not available. So on Friday morning, we had Mass. It was the Feast of the Sacred Heart at the Church of St. Barbara in Lavrion, which is a small port town for the city of Athens. And we embarked and, and all found our staterooms and enjoyed getting to have our first meal on board the ship and started to unpack a bit. And before we knew it, we were at the island of Mykonos, which is not particularly associated with St. Paul, but is a very beautiful island. And we discovered very quickly that it's also one of the windiest islands in the Aegean, known as the Island of the Winds. It was, of course, very beautiful, but it was also very difficult to get around. But we all took a chance to have a walking tour of the town. We walked up to see the famous windmills and also got to see the sunset. We also visited the local Catholic chapel on Mykonos, which was very small, but very lovely. After Mykonos, we returned to the ship and we had some dinner on board, went to bed. The next morning, we woke up in the port of Kusadazi, which is in Turkey. And from this port, we were able to visit the ancient city of Ephesus. Of course, Ephesus is important for many reasons in the history of Christianity. It was, of course, a place where St. Paul went to visit and where he caused a bit of an uproar. And he also wrote, of course, a letter to the community, the letter of the Ephesians. It was also the place where the Council of Ephesus took place, which defined Our Lady as the Theotokos, the Mother of God, and confirming, of course, the, the two natures of Jesus Christ, truly God and truly man. We visited Ephesus, too, to go and see the place where tradition tells us the Blessed Mother lived the rest of her life after leaving Jerusalem, after the experience of Pentecost. We know that on the cross, the Gospel of John tells us that Jesus entrusted the care of his mother to St. John. And so we believe that John then took her to Ephesus with him when he went there to try to preach. Because he wanted to protect her, he kept their house up in the mountains outside of the city in a beautiful area, a very peaceful area, a very secluded area. In a very mountainous area we were we were up on a very high mountain but it was really a, a beautiful place a place of great peace a, a, a place that was clearly holy felt very close to god and it was a beautiful experience to visit that house where we believe our lady and john continued their life after the lord had returned to the father we also toured the ancient city of Ephesus, the ruins of, of the city, getting to see the theater where the, the mob was whipped up against St. Paul, where he was prevented from going to try to calm them because they didn't think that his presence would be welcomed. After we finished the, the tour of Ephesus, uh, we just drove past the, the ruins of the Basilica where the Council of Ephesus was held, but there's not much left of that on the way back to the port. And we boarded the ship, and then we went to the island of Patmos, which is well known for being the place where the book of Revelation was written down. We got to tour the cave, where tradition tells us that St. John received the Revelation and, and had it written down. And then to the monastery on the top of the mountain, which is also dedicated to St. John. Uh, had great views of the island from the monastery at the very top of the island and enjoyed the visit to Patmos. It was, it's, it's not as crowded 
as many of the other islands, and it also had a, a, a spiritual feel to it as well. That was the end of Saturday, and then on Sunday we woke up in the port of Heraklion in Crete. From there we took an excursion to the Palace of Knossos, which is known to be an ancient Minoan palace from the civilization that's uh, long gone, based probably on the eruption of the, the volcano at Santorini, which possibly caused a tsunami that destroyed the Minoan civilization. After the tour of the palace, we had some free time to walk around the city of Heraklion. I went to Starbucks. There wasn't a whole lot else to do. It was a Sunday morning, so most of the shops were closed. We got back on the boat and then sailed to our final stop on the cruise, the island of Santorini, one of the most beautiful and heavily traveled Greek islands. It certainly lived up to its reputation as a place of great beauty. The caldera of the island, the, the remains of the volcanic eruption that perhaps caused the tsunami that devastated the other civilizations in the late Bronze Age, it, was, it, it remains in kind of fragmented form. And even today, there's still an active volcano on the site. But we were not able to dock there because the port is very small, but we took tender boats from our cruise ship to the uh, old port of Fira and took a cable car up the mountain. And then we had beautiful views of, of course, the, the town itself and also of the, the whole caldera we celebrated Mass at the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist and then had some free time before taking the gate car back down to the port to return to the ship. And that brings us to this morning when we disembarked. We had Mass once again at the Church of St. Barbara at the Port of Athens. And from there, we traveled up into the mountains in the, the central part of Greece to the city of Delphi or the ancient city of Delphi. Now it's just really more of a town. But the ruins of the Temple of Apollo, where the Oracle of Delphi used to prophesy, are still here. It's been extremely hot today, so it was very difficult to get to view the ruins. But we enjoyed our time in the museum, and now everyone is resting in the hotel before dinner. Tomorrow we expect to go a little further north to some of the Orthodox monasteries of Meteora to view uh, some of their works and uh, perhaps to see some icons that, that they write there. But all is well. We've been praying for all of you, of course. We appreciate your prayers for us and we will look forward to continuing to update you throughout the week now that we have more reliable internet service. Take care. God bless.